Hello everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75. Welcome to another Transformers review. Uh, right, for this one I thought I'd do uh, quite an old figure actually. This is um, Energon Bulkhead. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is uh, I'm just sort of trying to thin out my collection a little bit. Um, I need to sell some Transformers, so I thought, well, I'll get rid of some of the ones that I hardly ever see. And this is one of those figures that, I don't know, um, just got, kind of got left on the shelf, literally, really, um, in my collection. Because I got it a long time ago, virtually when it came out. Um, but like, if you've ever seen my um, collection videos in my loft, um, I've got these huge big boxes that I keep all my loose figures um, because a lot of figures these days I take straight out of the boxes because I don't really keep the boxes too much anymore unless I really like the box and this is one of those figures that I took out of the box um, but I never put it really in one of those boxes it just got left right on the top of one of my shelves right in the centre and it stayed there for years and it's only last two or three years that I've actually got around just to putting it in the box so I never really had a lot of love for it really and so this is one that at the moment is on eBay. Um, if I upload this by the time it's still on eBay, you know, feel free to check it out. Um, <clears throat> so I thought I'd do a review on it before I get rid of it, really. Um, now then, it is actually kind of a cool figure, if I'm honest with you. Um, right, this is the main figure. And it is a very, very good helicopter. Now, today it, it does look a little basic, if I'm honest with you. Now, he does have a landing gear down there. Um, and it does look a little funny when you put it with the landing gear. Um, I thought it should more stand here, but definitely haven't mistransformed it anyway. But um, yeah, it's actually not a bad helicopter mode, if I'm honest with you. It does have a little gimmick here. Um, if you get the rear wheel there and you pull that, we'll spin the rotors. And I think that's actually really, really good. You really can't see them too well on there. But that is actually a really good um, little gimmick, actually. It works really well. Um, yeah, um, he does have a lot of uh, firing missiles as well. He does have four gun pods under here, and they're just activated by the little missiles. I'm going to fire one at his little drone, which we'll come to in a minute. And they're quite powerful. Yeah. All right, so here, like I say, it's by today's standards, it does look a little... I've lost that one. Yeah, it's a little funny, that little uh, gun in there. It does stay in, but I've got to make sure I push it the right bit. Anyway, yeah, by today's standards, it's, it does come across as a little basic, kind of like a G1 figure would have looked to, to this when this came out, funny enough. Um, but still, it's an amazing figure. I think it's got a repaint as Springer, I think. Um, I'll tell you what would have been a good figure for this to be repainted as, which is the G2 um, Ransack. Um, because it's virtually the same helicopter and has all the same sort of guns. Um, that would have been pretty cool, if you want my opinion, but probably never happened. Anyway, right, so we've lost the missile. It's down here on the floor somewhere. Um, if you do buy this off on eBay, I will find it. Uh, right, so anyway, so we're going to put the landing gear away, because he does have another gimmick, of course, which is this. And he's like a little drone. Um, it does kind of remind me of those little starship thingamajigs that you see in... Not Age of Extinction, the one before that, Dark of the Moon. Um, it's it's alright, it's supposed to make sounds, but I think the batteries have gone, it's been up in the loft too long and they've just worn out. I might try changing the batteries actually. Um, yeah, I think it just needs one of those in there. Um, I should have done it before the review really, but I was thinking it's probably one of those little, little round ones, not one of those long ones. So there we go. Um, yeah, but it's just like that, the guns move up and down. And these are like thruster things that you can open out when we come to transform it in a minute. But he does have another little combination because this was Engion or Super Link in Japan. Obviously, nearly all the figures combined with something or other. So he's got two little um, posts down there with two little ports just under that. And then we just simply fit it on. And then suddenly he's now a massive helicopter with a gun pod underneath and everything like that. So you can imagine him swooping in and taking people out and then just getting the hell out of dodge with these giant thrusters on the bottom actually pretty cool um yeah so there we go pretty fun toy i think this was a not a voyager what's the next one up from a voyager i think they were ultra figures uh, back then they don't really do them size no more um maybe because they just make all the figures small as anything uh right so we're going to transform him 
Um, he does have a bit more of an involved transformation than I actually originally thought he did. I'm going to take the rotors off first, and then you're supposed to take this engine out. Um, I can't find an easy way of getting this bloody out. It came out earlier, but it was a pain in the bloody ass to get it out. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. You pull the, that all the way back and then get it out. There we go. So that's fine. Um, right, so then, and then we're going to go to these missiles up here, whatever they're called. We're going to rotate these all the way to the front, snap them into place. These are going to form the arms. Now, bits will sort of like pop open and do all sorts of things. Uh, first of all, I'm going to rotate. No, I'm not, because I can't do that yet. Right, first of all, I'm going to come down here to the legs, rotate these. Actually, I shouldn't have done that yet, but that's handy because then I can rotate them all the way around. Bring those down. Um, which is the front, that's going to be the front, so we're going to rotate these there. Oh no, we haven't rotate. Oh, that's the other missile all gone. All right, let's rotate this all the way out. As if, uh, bits do get in the way of each other, which is a bit annoying. Anyway, right. Pull the feet out. That's his legs done. Rotate this all the way up. Uh, then what we're going to do? This is where it gets a little finicky. I can't exactly remember how to do it exactly right. Fold that under, and then these little white bits. These were a bit annoying when I was trying to figure out how to transform it earlier. They're on. I don't know if you can see this. They're on sort of like a double hinge here, and you have to get them both up in the right position, like that. If I could just show you on that. There we go. Oh, there we go, that goes in there. And then that just folds all the way back and it does click into place, get the head. And then, yeah, again, I'll, tell you, I'll come back to that in a minute anyway. So we open out these and then the hands just rotate around. Virtually, it almost, there are so similar, many similarities between this and the G2 Ransack, but this would have been a good uh, figure for them to redo as Ransack, actually. I don't think they ever did it. Not as far as I know, anyway. Anyway, yeah, this 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 shoulder. Every time he moves his bloody arm, look, it just comes out of that pain in, pain in the ass. All right, so anyway, so let's have some nice articulation. And you can move around a little if it is even slightly annoying. Stand it, getting a decent page thing. No, he doesn't want to have it. Well, that'll do that. There we go. Uh, right. So anyway, then he's got this weapon. Uh, you fold it this little tab like that, so you can hold it, put the rotor blade back in here, wherever it goes, just in there. Now you can have it like that, or you can sort of close it up like that as a weird weapon, put that in his hands, like so. I'm sure that's the one that's supposed to go in there. There we go, like so, and you can sort of like angle it a bit, no, no, that's a bit stupid weapon if you ask my opinion. So there we go. Anyway, right, he does have nice head movement there. That will go left and right, and he does have a strange. He does have some good light paper there. Actually, you can see that, but it does look like he's wearing uh, glasses, which is a bit strange. All anyway, right, right. So there is him in his main robe. We're just going to straighten out these legs. That was the only thing about figures back then, and some today, to be honest. Um, they give him a bit of articulation, but there's no real way of actually posing them, which is a bit annoying. Anyway, we're going to put him over there, and you're going to come to the drone. Uh, the drone isn't that complicated to transform. Um, you just come around here. There's like a double pivoty part on that, and so we then open out this. This is on a spring, so you get your fingernail under there, and then you just push that open. And once you've got that open, it that will spring back into place. Then it's a case of finding the best place uh, to however you want these legs to look really I mean he does remind me slightly of um, is it a 209 out of Robocop um, I'm sure it reminds me of something else as well but I can't think of it to be honest anyway right so you sort of get them roughly how you want them and you will sort of stand up and again the let the um, Guns will move. So he's got his like little robot drone thingy bob. And it don't look too bad if you want my opinion. Um doesn't look particularly good either, but it's it's not too bad, you know. If you find a decent pose, you could sort of like bring these down. 
um, and do something with them, you know, just to give it a different look or whatever. Yeah, you know, it's it's right. All right. So let's uh, um, combine this now with bulkhead over here. Right. So we're going to. Uh, hold on, I've got my trusty instructions here because I think it goes this way around, right? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Right, so you're going to rotate these all the way up like this, like that. Fold these round. Uh, then you just want to sort of like angle these out, and they can be whatever the hell they're going to be. Then we just come to the back of this figure. Now it says in the instructions that this just slides down. Um, whether that's going to be the case or not, I really don't have a clue. I think these two little, don't know if you can see them, there's two little tabs just in there and they're going to fit into the back of this little section here. Oh, there we go, yep, there we go. That's pretty cool actually. Right, so then we've got, can't really see them actually. Let's just readjust my camera. There we go. And so that actually doesn't look too bad, for my opinion. Um, yeah, I'm actually sort of like thinking about why I'm all getting rid of this now, because this actually looks pretty damn cool. Now that is a good transform, look at that. That is actually pretty damn cool. Um, now then, let's do a quick size comparison. I hardly ever do size comparisons, and I always forget. There we go. That's um, him with Masterpiece side swaps. He was quite big. And these guns look... Pretty damn cool, if you want my opinion. Um, yeah, I think they're just stuff. It just um, actually look pretty cool. Just shame you can't pose the poxy legs that well. It looks like a samurai, or something, doesn't he? There we go. There you go. There's a just kind of a strange pose. And he actually, look at that. He's actually leaning all the way back. And he's not falling over, considering the weight of the backpack and everything. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite chuffed with that. Uh, I'm sure someone. Uh, we'll get themselves a bargain if they buy that. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get those lights and sounds working anyway. Uh, right, so this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.